Good afternoon, and welcome to Fuck I Need a Cocktail. Okay, pretty flowers, this framing is just too much. All right, uh, news today, probably the biggest news today, is uh, Hurricane Harvey, which is no longer a hurricane, now a storm, uh, is really destroying Houston, America's fourth largest city. Um, unfortunately, weather is political news, but I'm going to come back to that one. Um, that was a Bradley Whitford burp in the middle of talking. Look it up. Um, instead, we're going to talk about the other news that was buried by the hurricane, which is Trump's pardoning of Sheriff Joe Arpaio. And uh, hopefully uh, you've heard of him, or maybe unfortunately you've heard of him. He is the uh, sheriff for Maricopa County, which basically is everything in Phoenix and Arizona south to the uh, Mexican border. And he was convicted of criminal contempt of court, specifically because he did illegal traffic stops and racial profiling. Um, that's what he was convicted of, and sentencing was awaiting. Um, what he has also been accused of otherwise, and in many ways openly admitted to, is creating concentration camps uh, for Latinos that have been uh, detained illegally, um, been charged for not investigating uh, sex crimes, and uh, keeping people in uh, outdoor areas with no reprieve from heat in excess of 140 degrees. His detention centers have twice the average death of anybody uh, that's holding people in prisons or jails. Um, not not a great guy, not a not a great guy. Not a lot of funny stuff about Joe Arpaio. Um, he's been pardoned by Trump for criminal contempt, and you know while the conversation is going on of if he can do that or not, it's really more of a political conversation. Um, you know what Joe Arpaio is guilty of is violating the Fourth Amendment. You know of searches and seizures because he stole people. And the Eighth Amendment of, uh, you know, uh, cruel and unusual punishment, which he also paraded people in front of crowds and demeaned them and made them wear pink underwear. There are accusations of forced abortions. I can't really get into it. Look it up. Anyway, so this is a bummer time in which Trump, unfortunately, legally, if not politically, but legally, has the last word. And a cocktail to really get through that is the last word cocktail. Um, so for him to legally have the last word, we're going to go into doing that. And because I'm in Seattle right now and all my booze is packed up, I'm going to switch over to animation uh, for the rest of this week. So we're going to give that a try now. So the last word cocktail is going to be a, a classic equal parts cocktail with gin, green chartreuse, lime juice, and maraschino liqueur. And uh, when you're doing that, you're gonna pick a, a nice gin that has a lot to it. I like to use Voyager gin specifically. Uh, it's one that I really enjoy for that. It's kind of become a classic Seattle cocktail, even though it didn't originate here. Um, because it's high proof and herbal and uh, can really stand up to anything. It tastes like gin. Um, the maraschino, there's normally three or four available in America. By far my favorite is uh, Leopold Brothers. It's my favorite because everything they do is the best. Uh, maraschino is a clear liqueur. It's not red, it's not cherry juice. It's made from cherries, maraschino cherries. Um, then you're gonna add some green chartreuse, a very herbal French liqueur um, that's going to be very high proof and very sweet, very medicinal. It used to be medicine and it's time. And lime juice, you know, lime. I mix all those together in equal parts and you've got the last word cocktail. Um, and like I said, let's not forget the terrible news from Friday. The reason because fuck I need a cocktail is the bad news from Friday. Fuck I need a cocktail tomorrow is going to be hurricanes. But we'll come back to that tomorrow and we'll watch for more crazy ass political developments from this weird shit we're going through. And I hope you like the animation. Bye.